Greetings fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to a Learning Place, a Teaching Place website where you'll find all you need to teach and learn mathematics kindergarten to year six for deep understanding. This is one of a series of how-to videos. In this video you will learn how to use the tracking sheets to track student achievement and understanding. Under the assessment and tracking drop down menu we're going to select tracking. Now this will take us to this public page. As subscribers you get to see all of the tracking sheets so I'll click here. Now let's select the addition and subtraction tracking sheet. And I already have it open. So here's the addition and subtraction tracking sheet. Now everything that I'm telling you now is explained in the explanatory notes page. So if you forget it, you can either re-watch the video or you can look at the second page of the tracking sheet. So the idea is that we put the children's grade and their names on the sheet. Now we can colour in whatever level the child is up to. We can colour in simply by filling the, the cells. Now you can also click on a cell, right click on the cell and insert a comment. Now you can insert a comment to give formative assessment because if you like this is summative assessment this just tells us what the child can do. This could be used for summative assessment because the child can't quite do this now or maybe can do it but needs some support or that you might want to put some formative assessment data in there so that you can see it at report writing time for example or so that the next year's teacher can see it. Now when you've inserted a comment you get this little red mark. If you want to see all the comments at the same time you simply go to review and say show all comments. Every comment that's on that page will come up then. Okay, so let's have a look at these levels. The levels on the addition and subtraction tracking sheet, every level has teaching plans, interactive whiteboard files, investigation activity sheets and videos. So every single level has those things. Now we go from the very early levels of the concept where we're just counting forwards and backwards by ones. We're adding using counters. We're adding count and subtracting, counting from one in our head. We're counting on or back from one number. And now we're using non-count by one strategies. All right, now a lot of the state departments require you to complete this kind of information for your children. That's as high as they go. As soon as they're not counting by ones anymore, they're considered to be at the top of the level that you're required to report on. So how is this different? This tracking sheet continues through year one, year two, year three, year four, year five, year six, all the way up to adding and subtracting decimals, adding and subtracting three, four, five digit numbers, adding and subtracting fractions. It brings in patterns and algebra so that we're talking about commutativity and associativity. We're talking about how number patterns increase and decrease. We're looking at the money side of things, looking at GST, all of that kind of thing. So these tracking sheets are designed to be used at the start of a school year, there's advice on how to set up the tracking sheet so that your children, your class children are on there at the beginning of the school year. At the end of the school year, it's designed so that it's very easy to put all the children in one grade onto one tracking sheet, give that to the next year's teacher and then they simply delete the children that are not in their class. So it's very easy to pass this information from year to year to year. Now in the explanatory notes it also explains what grade in the national curriculum the levels are so that you can see exactly what levels your year or your grade of the children are meant to be at. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you again soon in another video.